kill them. About one third of the nests won't make it. Between predation and flooding, only about two thirds of the nests will hatch. And those babies will hatch at about six inches long, about this big right here. And that's where all those predators we talked about will come in, the birds, the bass, the otters, and they'll eat and eat and eat those babies. The babies can't just stay tucked away forever. They need to eat themselves. Younger alligators, about six inches, to grow larger and stronger, which they want to do very fast because they have so many predators. They need to eat every single day. Insects, small fish, small amphibians, such as frogs, will make up part of their diets, as well as anything else they could basically fit into their mouths. Growing and growing and growing. And as they grow, their prey will become larger and larger. And as they're eating larger and larger prey, they'll also not need to eat as frequently. The larger the prey, essentially, the less meals they will actually consume as they get to be adults. Despite the mother's protection, despite being a formidable predator when they're older, out of the 40 to 80 eggs, only a handful, only a couple will actually survive to be adults. And once they reach adult size, really about five feet long or so, they lose most natural predators. Human hunting is going to absolutely be the number one thing that kills these alligators, as well as the number one threat to alligators overall is gonna be habitat destruction from humans. Mind you, we do protect them, and I don't think there's any real threat of losing alligators here in the state anymore, like we almost did back in the late 60s. Now, something that I hear a lot and I've seen a lot of are pythons in the Everglades eating these alligators. Now, it absolutely happens, but in my opinion, it does not happen that frequently. But as an adult alligator, they really don't have many natural predators, many things to worry about at that larger size. Now, females would be between about six to nine feet long, and males would be between about 11 to 14 feet long. And some alligators, some large males, can weigh upwards of 1,000 pounds. 1,000 pounds. It's a very large animal. That's why they don't have a lot of predators as adults. Now, these alligators have absolutely amazing adaptations. I can go on and on about them. One of the ones in South Florida that we actually don't experience, but it has been popular, I've seen in pictures and videos recently, is their ability to survive the winter months in areas where it actually freezes. Again, not in South Florida or most of Florida, but up in, let's say, the Carolinas, they'll actually go into the shallow water as the temperature begins to drop. They'll push their nose through that thin layer of ice and allow the temperature to continue to drop and essentially freeze their noses sticking through the ice and allow them to breathe. They're gonna stop the blood from pumping to their legs. They're gonna stop the blood from pumping to their tail. It's called shunting. They're gonna shunt the blood and only pump it within the main core of their body, keeping their vital organs alive and oxygenated until that cold snap ends, until that cold season is over and allows them to warm back up and go through the warm months. Pretty amazing adaptation to be able to survive the winter months like that and quite possibly the reason that they were able to survive through the ice age. They didn't go extinct during the ice age. They're incredible ambush predators. They're very good at...